Is the cheapest 4K 60 camera you can get on Amazon any good? Let's find out. What's up everyone? I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So welcome back to reviewing the cheapest. That's where we go out, we find the cheapest tech, the cheapest cameras, microphones, audio equipment, all sorts of stuff. We go out and we find the cheapest, then we bring it back here and tell you, is it any good or is it a cheap piece of crap? Now, this is kind of a weird video where I've actually had this camera on hand for like three or four months now. I think Akaso sent me this like when this first came out and then I literally forgot about it. So I did do a check on Amazon today and this is the cheapest 4K 60 action camera you can get. So I didn't buy this, Akaso sent this to me, but I'm pretty sure we all forgot that they sent it to me. So let's get into it. So here on Reviewing the Cheapest, we're trying to do three things. We're trying to find out what comes in the box we're trying to find out does it do what it says it can do on the box and then we take it outside and find out is it actually a usable piece of gear or is it a cheap piece of crap that's going to fall apart the first time you take it out to use it. So if you'd like to get your very own OXO V50 you can buy them for ding amount of dollars and the ding for me yesterday was a hundred dollars when I checked this out so let's crack it open I don't I do have a, uh, I do have an unboxing thing that a wonderful subscriber by the name of Jim from Help at Home, uh, he sent it to me and I keep forgetting to bring it up to the studio. So let's crack this sucker. So let's crack this sucker open even though my, you know, fill light up top just died. So the Oxo V50, the reason we're checking this out right now is it is the cheapest 4K60 camera that I could find on Amazon. We weren't, I was just gonna end up like giving this to somebody, which we still probably will do a giveaway on this because I doubt I need it. And that's if it survives the crucible, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it was the cheapest. And I was like, yeah, let's, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. This is actually my second video we're recording today because the everyday kid has been very sick uh, the last couple of days. So I haven't had any time to do my normal YouTube stuff. So we just got done posting and publishing the whoa, whoa, the Shinobi video. And now we're doing the Akazo V50 Elite. So what do we got in the box? Let's see here. We got the camera itself. Akazo, there we go. We got the camera itself. What else? What else do we got? Okay, we're, let's oh, let's not break it. Let's not break it every day, Dad. I know you're penchant for breaking stuff. Oh, I love this. Oh, man. I, okay. So, I know the cheap action cameras get a bad rap for quality of their cameras. And yes, some of their cameras are terrible. But look at all this stuff. Cable. Two extra batteries. Mounts. Something. A cleaner. A uh, charging, an actual charging adapter for the batteries. Wrist mounted remote control. Extra mounts, extra, oh, I love. Okay, if you wanna win me over as an action camera company, include a full kit of accessories in the box. I hate when GoPro, I hate when Yi, and I hate when all the, even Sony, they almost, they include almost nothing in the box. Please, just give me what we need in the box. So look, I love this. So it looks like it has a, Let's open this up. They're really, if they included an SD card, they're really gonna win me over on the accessory department. Let's, come on Canon, you're supposed to be good at focusing. We have a 1,050 milliamp hour battery. Uh, let's, can I, there we go. Okay, so we got two of those. Let's see what comes with the camera itself. Hopefully the camera has some charge to it. Okay, let's not, I'm really getting close to breaking stuff. Okay, there's the waterproof case. If you're not gonna make the camera waterproof by itself, I love having a waterproof case included. Okay, so this is the V50 Elite. Now it does, it feels pretty good. I mean, it still is very like, it's got the same shape as most of the other budget action cameras I check out. Like look, that port door is exposed, which doesn't make me very happy. Uh, we got the record button on top. We have a quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom, which is very, very good. Looks like menu cycling is here. I think it's supposed to have a touch screen on the back. Um, looks like HDMI, USB, and SD card slots, battery card slots. So let's check, let's see what it says it does, and then we're gonna throw a battery in here and see if it's any good. So the OXO V50 Elite voice control, maybe we'll give that a shot. Waterproof with case to 131 feet, electronic image stabilization, 
native 4K 60 frames per second. So why they're saying that is a lot of times when you buy a budget action camera or a budget camera in general and it says it's 4K, it's really like a 720p or 1080p image. They basically take a small image and they blow it up and it, it doesn't mean it's any good. It's just the file size is 4K. 4K, 2K, 1080p, 20 megapixel camera, zoom, adjustable view angle, waterproof, uh, integrated wireless network, adjustable view angle, two inch display, definition, blah, 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 blah. Remote splash proof, okay. It didn't say anything about a touch screen though. Man, that looks so much like a GoPro thing that they're, that they're ripping off there. Like that is, that's not even close, okay. Let us pop in a battery. Hopefully they've got some battery life in it. Okay, looks like we do have some battery. Akaso, no SD card. Okay, let's see, is it a touch screen? Nope, it is not a touch screen, so let's go through the menus. Okay, video setting. Once you, you, you do these enough, you kind of just get used to it. 720, no, not 720p. Let's go to 4K 60. No, we'll do 4K 30, because that's what, we'll do some 4K 60 outside to slow it down. Video encoder, encoder. Uh, we'll just do H.264, image stabilization. Heck yes on. Loop recording, no, no, no. Okay, so that should be enough. Camera settings. Sounds, distortion calibration. Ooh, will it turn off? Let's, why not? Date stamp, please be off. Okay, off. The rear screen looks pretty good. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a that's a decently looking uh, screen for a hundred dollar action camera. I do wish it was touch screen. Uh, that's kind of sad, but you know, more's the pity. So let's let me grab an SD card real quick. Who? Samsung Extreme Plus because we are extreme. We're not. We're not extreme. That just we're not at all. Okay, so let's hit record. record? Okay, so there we go. We should be recording with the Akaso V50 Elite. So this is a quick indoor test of, like I just said, the Akaso, the cheapest 4K 60 action camera you can get on Amazon for, you know, for a hundred dollars. This is just, this is a, obviously it's the exact same thing. We're still recording with everything else, but this is a quick indoor test of the audio and the video quality when you have like a light that's set to, what are we set at today? 33%. So you can see that's what we were currently recording on. There's the GH5, there's the control station for the GH5, and by control station I mean my iPad. There's the Canon that's been giving me a lot of heartache uh, for during this video, so there you go. What we'll do next is we'll head outside and we will do a vlogging test outdoors because it's always gonna look better outdoors than it is. Action cameras generally look pretty terrible indoors, especially when you have low light. So there you go, let's turn this off. Did it save? Hopefully it saved, it didn't give me like a confirmation sound. So all right, what we'll do is we'll take all this stuff, we'll pack, we'll grab some of it and we'll make sure the batteries are charged and we'll head outside for the most important part of the test, which is when we do it outdoors because outdoors is just objectively better, right? Man, I hope it's not, does anybody check to see if it's raining? Man, I hope it's not raining. Okay, see you out there. <laughs> Welcome to the outdoor test of the Akaso V50 Elite. Now I will say, I just checked the footage for the indoor test and I'm pretty darn impressed. Uh, it's really hard for action cameras to look good indoors. And when you talk about a hundred dollar action camera, I'm, I'm impressed with the video quality. So I'm really hoping that uh, bringing it out here today will continue to impress me. There we go, we got it turned on. Let's see here. The, the thing that I didn't like though indoors is the audio was pretty hot. Uh, so I, I have this on a, my little tripod, so we're gonna try to keep it a little farther away to hopefully keep that audio from peaking too hard. Record. Hey look, there, there you guys are again with the uh, new Atom of Shinobi we're trying out today, which is why I don't have my sunglasses on, it, even though it's pretty bright out here. Uh, I don't have my sunglasses on because this thing doesn't, I need to put a screen protector on it so it doesn't block my face anymore, but there we go. Okay, so here we are on the Akaso. Now I can put my sunglasses back on because I, my eyes are, weak I guess but this is the video quality with the image stabilization turned on the audio recording from the Akaso and we're in 4k 30 uh, so we're just gonna wander around a couple little bit and just kind of give you a feel for how the video quality looks and the audio quality looks 
if you were gonna get this, we are just about, I feel like we are just about done. My foot's starting to feel better. I think we're gonna get back on doing like action stuff with action cameras. And now that it's not like freezing cold all the time, I think we will have a better chance getting back out on the mountain bike. But yeah, I do, I, uh, I do actually kind of like this camera a lot. Uh, I tried the Akaso, what was, I tried an Akaso action camera about a year ago. I thought it was pretty good. I do, again, I like, so I like gray, like, Gray is my favorite color. I know I'm super boring, right? Um, but I like how this looks. Uh, the image quality has been good so far. I like that it's got a little like tally light here in the front so you know you're recording. That happens on a lot of action cameras. But yeah, so this is, let's compare. Full frame mirrorless camera versus action camera. Which one looks better? <laughs> but this camera can't do 4K60, so uh, I guess Akaso has the, uh, has the last lap there. Okay, so you are you guys already know what this footage looks like. I have no idea. I literally just did it. So I'm going to hop inside, review the footage, come out and give you my recommendation and my what are my impressions of the V50 Elite. Ooh, let's do some 4K60 while we're out here. Hold on. Pause that thought. SD card. Okay, recording. Now we're in 4K60 just to give it a shot. Now I'm not a big fan of 60 frames per second. I feel like it makes everything look like too fluid and just like weird. A lot of people use it, a lot of people love it. Uh, I like doing 60 frames per second when I'm actually out doing action stuff, so I'll do my mountain bike rides in 1080p 60, but if 4K 60 now is just, you know, so prevalent that it's on a $100 action camera, maybe it's time to start giving 4K 60 a shot for, uh, for, the old, for the old action, stepping over this mess. I gotta clean up my backyard. Thanks for everybody that continues to tell me that I need to clean up my backyard. I, I definitely get it. Making YouTube videos takes up a lot of time. <laughs> okay, so this is 60 frames per second. Woo, woo. Does it look, does it look good? Let me know, let, let me know if it looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna go inside and review the footage, check it, come back, let you know my impressions. We gotta do the snap, right? Almost lost my sunglasses. Okay, and we're back. So we had a chance to review the footage, check out and see what the V50 Elite is capable of. So what do I think? Uh, I think the 4K30 looks pretty darn good, uh, especially for a $100 action camera. The 4K60, so the way you just saw the 4K60 was I did optical flow uh, conforming in Final Cut Pro, so it probably didn't look a lot like 4K60 because the rest of the clip, like the rest of the video, is not shot in 4K60. I did not like the 4K60 frames per second in this camera. It crops in a, it crops in a little bit, and I don't know, it just seemed way more pixelated uh, than the 4K30. So it's probably doing some cropping and just, I don't know, the image quality did not look nearly as good. So if you're gonna use this, I'd recommend sticking with the 4K30. I thought it looked pretty good, especially for a hundred bucks. But the audio, not very good. Uh, there's no manual audio control or gain control inside of the camera itself. So it's pretty bad. Even when it was like hands, even when it was hands width away from me, it was still peaking a lot. Uh, not very good on the audio front. So if you need a camera with good audio, probably wouldn't recommend the V50 Elite. So what are my overall recommendations? If you want a 4K capable camera for a hundred bucks, it's not the worst. I've used way worse action cameras before. Uh, it's not terrible. I actually think the video quality at 4K 30 looks pretty good, especially for indoors. Like indoors is normally like the burial ground of the small centered camera phones, action cameras, even like smaller censored like traditional cameras generally do pretty terrible indoors and in low light, which this dealt with both. And it looked, I thought it looked pretty darn good. I was pretty shocked at how good it looked indoors. So yes, as a $100 action camera for video capabilities, no as anything for audio because the audio was terrible. Was it the best? Absolutely not. Was it the highest price? Nope, but it was the cheapest. Thanks for watching.